hello so now today we are going to make sales master page we are going to make two to three parts to complete this sales master but before that i change one thing you can see open your stock master table and i add one this field packing size this field is not available on your table so please add this field packing size and you have to take packing size we are here hundred and then you have to change one thing also inside purchase master here in insert query you need to pass this packing size inside this purchase master inside this insert query you need to pass these things nothing else because we need packing size then and then we can get proper value that's why okay so this change is done now we are going to make sales master but i create one design for sales master that i am going to show you and then i will tell you how we can get that so i am going to make one page yeah sales master and now inside this header we are going to add inside the menu so after the stock master before stock master i am going to add this sales master and here we need to give link sales master dot php so now here you can see that link sales master i am going to click on it and you can see this page is empty but don't worry i add this page link in video description you can download this page you can download this page from video description i already had link to download this page so now i am going to open this page code going to copy everything and now here inside i am going to paste that things i just did design nothing else you can see now this is a design of sales master so because when you are going to create any bill then you need full name you need bill type date product company product name then unit then packing size then price quantity and then after you are yet in total and when you are going to click on it this entered detail you want to show here but this is the static table right now we are going to make it dynamic but in this video i am going to show you how we can complete these things when you are going to select this amul you will get here amul product name then you need then packing size according to it it will load price then after you are going to enter quantity and then after you are going to get total and next video we are going to make the coding of this add button but this is the most important things so now here you can see this is the sales master now inside this sales master i am going to take task trip yeah again i am going to tell you that you can find this page code inside video description so i take strip type text task trip now i am going to open this purchase master page because in purchase master we already did like when you are going to select company we are going to load product so we did this already so i am going to copy this select company code and i am going to paste here now i am going to check you can see when i am going to select balaji you can see i am getting a tomato wafer because here i got here i said already existing name like in purchase master master whatever name we, we used here i use same name here so we don't need to create again page because we already created that page inside this four edges folder so we use this now i am going to copy this select product select unit that also in sales master i am going to paste this so here where i am going to select this but getting we need also now when you are going to change this packing size you need to load this price so for that we need to change the code we need to write the code for that inside this select unit we have to write the change event of packing size drop down so here 
we are going to write page in size then dot we are going to write the code of jquery let me write here alert testing so now i am going to select ml and product unit and page in size you can see i am getting message testing it means up to this code is okay now we will create one function named load price and inside we are going to pass our page in size value so document dot Page in size value, and now we need to create this function. So, I'm going to create that function here. And we are going to get that value. Page in size, and now we need to load that price. So, for price, we need company name product name unit and we already have page in size here so now we need to get company name product name and unit so i'm going to take variable company name is equal to document dot get element by id company name dot value then i'm going to take one more variable product name and now I am going to write here product name now I am going to take unit unit dot value and now you need to write jQuery code so I'm going to just copy these things I'm going to paste here here we have text box name ID is price so we are going to get response inside price text box and now here we are going to create one new page load price dot php company name is equal to plus company name then plus product name is equal to plus product name then plus now we are going to pass unit so for unit unit is equal to plus unit then we are going to pass packing size that we have inside our variable packing size yeah this is fine so now we need to create one page load price that i am going to create inside this load price dot php and now we need to write code inside this So here first I need to include connection string yeah now we need to get that variable value so company name is equal to company name then product name is equal to dollar get product name then unit and last one is 
packing size is equal to we get this all variable which we pass from here that we get here I am going to close this purchase master we don't need that now here we need to write select query so company this is our table colon name dollar company name and product name is equal to dollar product name and product unit is equal to dollar unit and now we need to pass here packing size so let me check yeah packing underscore size so here yeah now we need to move while loop while dollar row is equal to MySQL I here then dollar res and here I am going to write echo dollar raw we need to take this product selling price so I am going to copy that column name and paste here now we are going to check here yeah we are not getting price so we need to check where is the problem here first of all we are going to check when you are getting this type of problem then first of all you need to write here alert so we are going to check that we getting proper response or not Yeah, we are getting 10 then why it is not setting oh here we need to pass value not in HTML because this is the test words okay so now Balaji yeah you can see we got here 10 and I made it read only because you cannot change it now here when I am going to write 5 we need a total 50 so for that We have to find this UTY and now here we are going to take event on key up generate total and now here we need to pass this to tell you so when you are going to write anything on this quantity according to it we are going to generate total so now I am going to create this function here generate total here I am going to take qty Now I need to check the total text box values. The ID is total. So is equal to dot value multiply by qty dot value now here I am going to write evil here I 
here also even now we are going to check here we are getting price i'm going to write 5 and you can see we got here total 50 now i'm going to write 8 here you can see we are getting total is 80 so this way we can generate this line output and now in next video i'm going to show you how you can click on this add button and accordingly we are going to load your data and yeah again you can download this file from video description thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it share it and please subscribe it thank you so much again